of missions are now open. For all types of South African music to be playlisted on Radio Yester The likes of Gospel. Trip and hip hop, hip hop. Dan wat gaat hij maken? Wat? Protest met bombs in die straat? Hmm? Hoef je alles uit wat aan die kaap? Hoef je? Mijn enigste vraag is wat hij bereikt. Ons het hier genoeg hier, as hy rit die volie dan Wat hy bereik Dance hall en reggae tunes Yes to the feet Godstar Kat blaks om strale present van die jakers Dat is wat hy gaat maak hier jou R&B en soul I still smell you, I still smell you, yes I do And of course bomb and house music We don't mind the land we don't mind the genre. So send us an email now to info at radioyesterriver.co.za Title your email Playlist me Yes, the repeat Our station, our talent, our people You are listening to Radio Yesterriver Goeiemorgen, goeiemorgen luisteraars van Radio, Radio Eerste, Eerste Vier. Het is weer een wonderlijke voorrecht voor ochtend om ingeskakeld te wees. Ik is pastoor Elmerie Sols, ik sta voor ochtend in voor Apostel Jacobs. Van die program kom drink van die levende water. En dit is een wonderlijke voorrecht voor ochtend om weer op die radiostatie te kan wees. Ik wil ook voor die voorzitter of die CEO van die radiostatie bij bij dankie sê vir die goddelijk geleentheid om weer die woord van die Heere te kan verkondig. Ook wil ek vir oogend aan my soundman sê, hoe bly was hy vir oogend om vir my te sien, dat vir my gevoel, ek was een bykie met verlof, oor die festif, hy het ons gesê, laas jaar is festif, is min wat het likes, <laughs> maar prees die naam van die Heere, dat ons vir oogend die is, om die naam van die Heere groot te kan maak, luister as, ek wil vir oogend vir jou sê, wees ingeskakel, jy kan jou kos maak, jy kan maar aangaan met die potte, Jy kan selfs ook aangaan as jy, as, jy, as jy vir jou recht krij om na die huis van die Heere toe te gaan, maar wees ingeskakel. Misschien bring ek vir oogend een bevestiging of as jy kerk toe gaan, dan bring die pastoor, die dominee, die priester, een bevestiging, jammer, dat die woord wat ek vir oogend bring, is die woord wat God wil hee. Maar ons gaan eerst begin met een lekker liekie, in the name of my Lord. There is a victory. Daar is oorwinning vir ons in Jesus naam. Amen en amen. Alle jylle welke die vanavond episode. Ons gaan die episode opvang met een lekker koortje wat sê In the name of my Lord, there is a victory. Ons atelier vast as die sonde. In the name of my Lord, there is a victory. There is a victory. There is a victory.
You are tuned into the leading internet radio station in the mother city. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Ons het een lied geluister, Victory is mine. I told Satan, leave me behind. Victory today is mine. Ek wil vanochtend vir een luisteraar sê, daar is oorwinning in Jesus naam. Daar is verlossing, daar is oorwinning. En ek wil vir iemand vanmorgen sê, wees ingeskakel. Luisteraars van Radio Eesterveer, dit is die nummer 1 radiostasie. Jy kan hulle vind op Facebook, Radio Eesterveer. Jy kan selfs online gaan, dit sê uh, www.radioeesterveer.co.za en dan is daar da, da ook een uh, 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 WhatsApp nummer, nee, waar is die WhatsApp nummer, uh, wat ek vir die luisteraars kan gee, maar ons staan vanmorgen in die oorwinning. Ek wil eerstens vir iemand vir ochend sê wat vir jaar, if it's your birthday today, I want to say to you, happy birthday, een geseende verjaarsdag in die naam van die Heere. Weet jy, dit was my verjaarsdag giste. En ek het giste ochend opgestaan met hierdie blijwende gedachte en oorwinning en blijdskap. Dit is net die Heere wat my en vir jy nog een dag by ons leven gevoeg het. Ons het nie gister vir jaar of vir dag vir jaar of vrijdag vir jaar uit ons eie kracht het nie. Dit is Jesus Christus wat die woord van die Heere sê, Jesus Christus sit aan die rechterhand, hy pleit by die Vader, hy is ons advocaat. Jesus sê vir God, luister hy, Elmerie en amal wat vir jaar wat lewe, moet jy nog een kans gee, hulle werke is nog jy klaar nie, kom ek bemoedig jy vandag, hoekom lewe jy eindelijk? Hoekom lewe ek in die eindelijk? Onse werke is nog nie klaar nie, ons moet nog die wil van die Heere doen. Ek wil vir iemand vir oogend sê, I want to tell somebody here this morning, you are not alive by your own power and your own strength. You are alive because Jesus Christ intercede for you and me. Jesus Christ is the one who asked the Father, listen, the plans that you have for Elmer and everybody else is to give them a hope and a future. And in that hope, we must have faith and we need to believe. And I want to tell you this morning, happy birthday a blessed birthday, may the Lord bless you, may the Lord keep you, may the Lord make his face shine upon you and give you peace and I want to encourage you, enjoy your birthday, to enjoy your birthday, please my beloved listeners, don't cry over money, don't cry who don't wish you, let me tell you, the church where I came from, the church where I was released when I started ministry for the Lord, Pastor David Oshahon teach us, he taught us something, Hy het ons iets geleer, hy het gesê, why do you cry over those who don't celebrate you, you need to celebrate yourself in the Lord, you need to, he always said this, the week before your birthday, buy a card, a birthday card, and post it to yourself, it's time that you give God all the glory, there's so many tears about those who don't celebrate you, can I tell you that heaven is celebrating on behalf of us, because it's, it, it is your birthday. Heaven, the angels of the Lord are celebrating. They are singing hallelujah. They are, they are bowing before the Lord God Almighty to give God all the honor because of me and you that is alive. Enjoy your birthday, man. Mark your lekker, trek your lekkertjes aan and set your makeup up and mark your lekker, my sister. Mark your lekker, my broer, om te wacht vir iemand om jou te celebrate. Jy gaan, jy gaan depressief raak, jy gaan stress, jy, jy, gaan, jy gaan een slaaploze nacht het. I've learned over these years, since I met Pastor David, and he taught us, we need to celebrate in the Lord, we need, we need, we need to give the Lord all the glory and the honor, the fact that we are alive, and the fact that we can be alive and celebrate our birthday. All glory to God. Now this morning, I want to bring us a word from the book of Mark, Mark 5, from verse 21, and, and, and there, there's, actually, there's actually two stories in the, in the chapter of Mark 5, but I'm going to maybe use some of the other story to give us a bigger picture about the greatness of the Lord. I want to say to us as today as listeners that the year has already started. We are 28 days in the new year. 
We are 28 days by the grace of the Lord, by the mercy of the Lord, we are alive. And some of us came into 2024 with heartache, with pain. Some of us went astray. Some of us has fallen back into sin. But I want to encourage you today, there is hope in Jesus Christ. There is victory in the name of Jesus. Maybe you started this year and said to yourself, you know, they've been preaching about this Jesus. They've been, they've been preaching about this God. I don't even know this God. But I want to encourage you and I want to ask you, please, uh, uh, as you follow the word of God today, please make, uh, open up your heart to allow God to come into a fellowship with you, get to, just with you. And, 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 and God is knocking at the door of your heart. You need to open, you need to give your life to Christ because this for me coming here is to give the message of hope, the message of salvation, the message of of. of, of of deliverance and the message of signs and wonders through Jesus Christ. So I'm going to read for you Mark 5 verse 21. When Jesus, uh, sorry, the topic is Jesus raises a dead girl and heals a sick woman. When Jesus had again crossed over by boat to the other side of the lake, a large crowd gathered around him while he was by the lake. Then one of the synagogue leaders named Jairus came and when he saw Jesus, he fell at his feet. He pleaded earnestly with him, My little daughter is dying. Please come and put your hands on her so that she will be healed and live. So Jesus went with him. A large crowd followed and pressed around him. And, and a woman was there who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years. She had suffered a great deal under the care of many doctors and had spent all she had. Yet instead of getting better, she grew worse. When she heard about Jesus, she came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak because he thought, if I just touch his clothes, I will be healed. Immediately her bleeding stopped. And she felt in her body that she was freed from her suffering. At once Jesus realized that power had gone out from him. He turned around in the crowd and asked, who touched my clothes? You see the, you see the people crowding against you. His disciples answered, and yet you can ask who touched me? But Jesus kept looking around to see who had done it. Then the woman, knowing what had happened to her, came and fell at his feet and trembling with fear, told him the whole truth. He said to her, daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering. And while Jesus was still speaking, some people came from the house of Jairus, the synagogue leader. Your daughter is dead. They said, why bother the teacher anymore? Overhearing what they said, Jesus told him, don't be afraid, just believe. He did not let anyone follow him except Peter, James and John, the brother of James. When they came to the home of the synagogue leader, Jesus saw a commotion with people crying and, waiting lo and wailing loudly. He went in and said to them, why all this commotion and wailing? This child is not dead but, but asleep. But they laughed at him. After he put them all out, he took the child's father and mother and the disciples who were with him and went in where the child was. He took her by the hand and said to her, Talita kum, which means little girl, I say to you, get up. Immediately the girl stood up and began to walk around. She was 12 years old and, this they were, and at this they were completely astonished. He gave strict orders not to let anyone know about this and told them to give her something to eat. You know, listeners, what's, what is so profound about these two stories, the woman with the issue of blood, she was suffering for 12 years, and the child that was sick, destined to die, was 12 years old. Is that not so profound? The, where, 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 where Mark told us two stories in one chapter about the power and the healing in the name of Jesus. So my story is for us today that we have started 2024 and there is people in this world that said that I've been, I've been looking for help. I trying my utmost best to go to the best doctors. I even heard of a healer, even heard of a traditional healer. I even heard of a spiritist. I even heard of a prophet that came to town, but I went there and nothing happened. So the word of God today is to give us hope again, is to boost our faith. Because Hebrews 11 verse 1 says, Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. So faith 
is the confidence when we have faith. It, it is the confidence that as if a sekering that that what us is seen with the blood to work in sal gebeur what we hope for in 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 it is it is an assurance about what we do what we do not do not see. Now the story started when Jesus had again crossed over by the boat to the other side of the lake. If you read the four gospels, Mark, sorry, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, we're gonna. Uh, uh, read about Jesus Christ that came into this world to die for our sins. But if you study the Bible in the book of Matthew, you're going to see that the lineage of Jesus Christ, so it means that it was, or, it was already been prophesied in the book of, sorry, in the Old Testament about the coming of Jesus Christ. And the Bible, and, and, and if you study the Bible, you're going you're gonna to learn between Malachi and Matthew, there was 400 years of silence, no prophetic word but if you if you enter into Matthew you're going to immediately study the lineage of Jesus Christ there is an indication that what was prophesied in the Old Testament came true and the reason for Jesus Christ to who had to come into this world is to die for our sins because if you study the book of Genesis you're going to see how God created Adam and Eve and they fell into sin and God was looking for someone to restore the prophetic relationship between him and us because the the relationship that God uh, 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 was trying to restore is between him and us because he made a promise to Adam and Eve. He gave them instructions that they must subdue and multiply and be fruitful. But because they fell into sin, God is true to his word. The Bible says in Numbers, let every man be a liar and God be true. And that's why if you study the Old Testament, you're going to see how God used shepherds, kings, prophets, ordinary men, women, to, to restore the relationship between him and us. And here we read about Jesus Christ who came, was born through a virgin Mary because the angel visited her and he said to her, you will be pregnant of a son, but you must call him Jesus. And we are going to learn. I just want to give a background for somebody who said, I'm listening for the first time to this radio station. I'm listening for the first time to this to this program. Who is this Jesus all about? What is about this Jesus that everybody is so fanatic about? So mal oor. Ek het enig gelees, a ding wat sê, uh, I, I, I made about my Jesus because he done so much for me. So uh, um, he, Jesus Christ came into this world, as I said, to die for our sins. And there is four Gospels, the first four books of, of the New Testament, where, where we're going to learn about who is Jesus? Why did he came for? What is the meaning of his coming into this earth? And the topic of this, sorry, the, the name of this program is Kom drink a bikkie van die levende water. Nou, levende water vir ochend is God sy woord. Is sy woord, want hy is a waarmaker van sy woord. And the scripture start in 21, when Jesus had again crossed over by boat to the other side of the lake, a large crowd gathered around him while, while he was by the lake. And as I said, if you study the four Gospels, you're going to see how people follow Jesus Christ. Some followed him to, to, to give their life to Christ. Some followed him for the, for the miracles that they saw is done. Some followed him because he turned water into wine. Some followed him because he multiplied the fish and the bread. Jesus was preaching for three days and one of the disciples said to him, but this people must be hungry. And Jesus said, listen, you sold it out. I'm busy preaching. I'm busy with my father's business. And they found this boy with the fish and the bread. And while Jesus was breaking the bread, that he multiplied the bread. The Bible says 12 baskets was left of the provision that came to feed the people. And the Bible says 5,000 men were seated. What about the women and the children that was there? So this is just an introduction, my friend who is listening for the first time. And Jesus was always going around doing, the, doing his father's business. Jesus also said, I came to do the will of my father. And this is what Jesus did. And people were following him. And, and, and here is a, uh, a story about one of the synagogue leaders named Jairus came and when he saw Jesus, he fell at his feet. He pleaded earnestly to him. It is not only ordinary men that heard about Jesus Christ. It was synagogue leaders. It was the Sadducees and the Pharisees and the Sanhedrin and the teachers of the law. They all were aware of the coming of Jesus Christ, but not everybody believed in Jesus Christ. And we are going to see, and we are going to learn today how, how, how we can 
call upon the name of Jesus, how we can trust the Lord, how we can say, God, if you can do it for this man, for this child, and for this woman, you can do it for me. And I want to say to you today, the word of God is to love you out of darkness. The word of God is to love you out of your pit that you are in. In Psalm 40, said, David said, I, I, I waited patiently on the Lord. He have heard my cry. He pulled me from the sickness. He pulled me from my bed. He pulled me from, from being weak. He pulled me from darkness. And David said in Psalm 14, he said, God placed my feet on a solid rock. And Jesus Christ want to, want to place somebody's feet today on a solid rock. And the other thing that David said, David said, he, give an, he gave me a new song. David gave birth to, the new, to a new song, which means what, what brought him in that pit, what brought you in, in that pit of sickness, what brought you in your disaster today, what brought you to stress, what brought you that bring you into despair, will take you out if you believe. Remember I said, Hebrews 1 says, now faith is confidence of what we hope for and in the assurance about what what we do not see. Now this man was falling at, 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 at Jesus' feet and he was pleaded, he, he pleaded earnestly with the Lord and said, my little daughter is dying. Please come and put, a hand, put your hands on her. This man had so much faith. I don't know how many times that he heard about Jesus Christ and because he said to Jesus that come please put your hands on my daughter and I know she will be healed. I want to say to somebody this morning, you can lift up your hands this morning. You can kneel on your sick bed this morning. You can be like this, sorry, synagogue leader. This, this synagogue leader had faith. The faith that he had was, he believed that Jesus can just lay his hands on his daughter. He had so much faith in the name of Jesus because faith is the substance for things hoped for, the assurance for things they did not see. And I want to ask you this morning, what testimony did you already heard in your street? What testimony did you already heard in your community where you work, somebody must have told you about the miraculous work of Jesus Christ. Somebody must have told you about what the Lord can do. And I want to say to you today that the faith that this man had, I want to boost your faith today to the word of God. And I'm connecting these two stories because these two stories, this two stories is about the faith of a synagogue leader and the faith of a woman with the issue of blood. Do not forget, I said she suffered for 12 years for the issue of blood. And this child was 12 years old when Jesus uh, 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 laid his hands on her and she, be, and she was healed in the name of Jesus. So, um, and please come and put your hands on her so that she will be healed and, and in love. So Jesus went with him. Jesus was obedient to the call of a synagogue of a synagogue leader. Jesus was obedient. Do you know why, my friend? Do you know why, listeners? The reason why he was obedient, he saw the faith of this man because this man declared to Jesus, if you can only put your hands on my daughter, because he understand the healing power. He understand the power that Jesus carried. He understand Isaiah 53 says by his stripes we will be healed. Remember the synagogue leader. He was a synagogue leader. He was teaching people. He was reading from, from the scroll. It means he was reading from the Old Testament the prophecies about Jesus Christ. And when he heard about Jesus Christ, as I said, I don't know if he, if, if he saw Jesus manifest in his glory. Glory. Did he saw Jesus manifest in, in sorry manifest in miracles? But but this synagogue leader must have teach people coming to the temple about Isaiah fifty three that says, "By his stripes we are healed." The suffering of his wounds is for us to be healed. And 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 as Jesus followed now this man, the Bible says that now the crowd pressed, the crowd pressed. And here come the other beautiful story. And there was a woman there who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years. For 12 years, she had blood flowing. And I will not for someone for a scrub lees what say. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7. For we walk by faith and not by sight. So this woman, she was walking by faith and not by sight. Yes, the Bible says she had heard about Jesus Christ. She had suffered a great deal under the care of many doctors and had spent all she had. Yet instead 
of getting better, she grew worse. When she heard about Jesus Christ, her faith boosted. Her faith was her faith was lifted up, and we're gonna see the manifestation of her faith. And I want to say to some listener here this morning, this woman, the Bible says she was subject to bleeding for 12 years. Now imagine for 12 years you are bleeding. I am a nurse. I'm also doing now um, telephonic appointments. And I'm the one where the, where the doctors, the, the clinics, the private doctors, they are phoning me to make a booking, a, an appointment for a patient. And sometimes I hear this, whim, this woman is bleeding for so long. She need to see a gynecologist. She went to this doctor. She went to this clinic. She, she, she heard in a community, she, she must use this kind of medicine or ointment or she must drink this uh, herbs because there are many, 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 many things out there. Uh, if you just go into Google, sorry, if you, are, if you just go into, into Facebook, if you just go into Instagram, there's a lot of videos how to use uh, ginger, how to use lemon. If you use ginger and lemon and, uh, cu and, and, and cucumber or cumin or kind pepper, you, you will be healed. And I believe the reason why I'm sharing this, this woman, the Bible says for 12 years, she spent her money on doctors. For 12 years, she had suffered a great deal under the care of many doctors and had spent all she had. Maybe the doctors said to her, one doctor said to her, listen, there's no antibiotics, there's no tablets, there's no injection that can help you. I've heard, I, I, I saw on Google, I saw on Facebook, if you use gem, ginger, if you use uh, uh, cumin, if you use uh, uh, coriander, if you mix all those together and you blend it in your blender, you will be healed, the bleeding will stop. Maybe she have heard this kind of advice, but the, the Bible says, it become worse. I want to say to somebody, your situation that you are, are in became worse to a point that you have no money. You, you, are, you are even afraid to go to a doctor because in your mindset you said, listen, if I, if I have to go to another doctor, I'm going to scream. Ek gaan skreeuw, want, want ek, ek, ek mors net my geld. Maar, maar ek wil veroogend vir iemand sê, ek is veroogend hier om vir jou te sê, ek wil vir u iets lees wat sê, Jesaja 55 sê, so mooi, het sê, Come all you, all you who are thirsty, come to the waters, and you who have no money, come buy and eat, come buy wine and milk without money and without cost. Why spend money on what is not bread and your labor on what does not satisfy? Listen, listen to me and eat what is good and you will delight in the riches of, of fair. Give ear and come to me. Listen that you may love. I will make an everlasting covenant with you. My faithful love promise, my faithful love promise to David. It says, come all of you who are sick. Come all of you who have spent your money on doctors. Come all of you who went to Sangoma and it became worse. Come all of you who listened to the advice of people in the street and you are not healed. Isaiah 55 says, come all of you who doesn't have money and you have no money, come buy and eat. There is a promise that you can come without money because this woman, when she, when she saw Jesus and when she heard about Jesus, what she did, she realized she must make use of the opportunity. And she saw an opportunity, uh, uh, how, to, how to get closer to Jesus. And I want to say to people here this morning, sometimes we are going to crusades. Sometimes we are going to open air services. Sometimes we are going to conferences. Sometimes we are going to uh, a church service and, and we wait for the pastor, we wait for the evangelist, we wait for the prophet, we wait for whoever is preaching or leading the service, we wait for them to call us to make an altar call. We wait until the end of that preaching to say, and, 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 and we even has this, have this mindset, I am waiting for the preacher to make that altar call, I will not go. Can I tell you, this woman didn't, did not wait for an altar call. Hierdie vrou het nie gewag dat die Jere moet vragen, is hij enige ziekes niet? Is hij enige behoefte gezien? Is hij enige blindes niet? Nee, als jij, als ik en ik die vier gospels gaan lezen, gaan ons lezen, elke keer wat gezond geworden het, 
die majority van hulle het na Jesus toe uitgeroep. Die een geval wat ik weet, is die man wat vir 38 jaar aan die toestand was. Hij het geleerd by die bad van Bethesda. Jesus het vir hom gevra, wat kan die Heere vir hom doen? Maar als ik die ander uh, uh, wonderwerke lees, dat sê ek, dit is mense wat uitgereik het na Jesus. Ek wil vir iemand vir ochend sê, moet nie wacht vir die pastoor om een autokool te maak nie. Moet nie wacht vir die wege lus om een autokool te maak nie. Wil jy nie vir ochend sê, Heere, hier is ek nie en kyk net hoe braaf is hierdie vrou, dis was a brave woman, she had faith, the Bible says, and when she heard about Jesus, she came up behind him, in the crowd, and touched his cloak, she came up behind him, she was looking for an opportunity, how to touch Jesus, that's a song that said, somebody touch me, I was blind, but now I see. En, en ek wil vir iemand vir ogen sê, hierdie vrou het my so, so vol moed en geloof, het sy een geleentheid gesoek om Jesus aan te raak, om, om die kleed wat hy aangehaard het, baie, baie keer hoor ek, uh, en ek dink ek het ook al gesê, she touched the hem of his gown, daar is, ja, jammer, daar is een vertaling wat sê, she touched the hem of his gown, nou if she touched the hem of his gown, dat beteken, sy het onder aan sy soom geraak, dat wil sê, sy het een geleentheid gesoek, om, om haar te verneder, om, om laag neer te buig, en ek, 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 ek kry hierdie prentjie van hierdie vrou, hoe sy dier die bene, van die mans moes, moes gekryp het, en hier is die wonderlijke ding, man, my sister en my broer, nie een van haar die mans of vrouwens, wat, wat na by Jesus was, het achtergekom, dat hier die vrou het deurgebeer, want elkeen het maar een geleentheid gesoek, om so na as moendlik aan Jesus te kom, so dit was, dit was nie ongewoon, dat iemand voorbij jou so stamp, of iemand voorbij jou so skeer nie, want die woord van die Heere sê, a large crowd followed and pressed around him, and a woman was there. So ek wil vir u sê, miskien sê u vir ochen, maar Elmerie in Oostkerk, as haar orde, ek kan nie nou, die pastoor wat preek, of die dienstleier wat preek, nou die stap nie, want my kijk het orde, kom ek sê vir jou, dalk maak die pastoor nie a autokoli, dalk maak die leier nie a autokoli, dalk vraag die evige lis, dalk nie, wie is siek vanmorgen in die huis van die heren, of daar by die op, 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 openlig dienst nie, miskien vraag iemand nie by die ten dienst, miskien preek hulle net oor bekering, maar hulle vraag nie oor wie siek nie, dan, 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 dan gaan jy huis toe gaan, met die selle siekte, hier die vrou het geweier om terug te keer met die conditie en die selde siekte en die selde gebleer en onderhoud net nie, volgens die joodse geloof, mag hier die vrou nie eers in die publiek gewees het nie. As jy lees Leviticus 15 vers 25, ek gaan het vir die luisteraars lees, so dat ons kan verstaan, volgens die joodse geloof, mag hier die vrou glad nie haar verskyning gemaakt het in die publiek nie. She was seen as unclean. Leviticus 15. 15 verse 25. Luister wat sê die woord. Die woord sê, When a woman has a discharge of blood for many days at a time other than her monthly period, or is a discharge that continues to be on, to, to continue, continue, continues beyond the period, she will be unclean as long as she had this, has the discharge, just as in the days of her period, were there. Say, can he in the public be a seed? That says, any, any bed she lies on while her discharge continues will be unclean, as, as is her bed during a monthly period, and anything she sits on will be unclean as during a period. Anyone who touches them will be unclean. They must wash their clothes and bath with water, and they will be unclean till evening. Nou, die was die joodse glo, die, 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 die joodse wet. Maar Jesus het gekom, hy sê so mooi in, 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 in die woord, hy het gekom om die, 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 om die joodse wet te vervul, om dit nie weg te maak nie. En, en weet julle, wat, wat so mooi is, as ons hierdie gedeelte lees in Leviticus, that she is supposed to be seen unclean. She was not supposed to be amongst people. If they touch her, then they will be unclean. They had to go home and wash their clothes, and they are also unclean till evening. They are separated from the crowd. Now, the first thing that this woman did, she break the Jewish law. And I want to say to you this morning, 
Please break the custom of your church. You are sitting there for years with a sickness. You, you cannot be delivered from smoking because you think that Jesus Christ can only provide bread and milk. But can I tell you this morning, if you reach out this morning, if they don't make an altar call, I want you to go to the house of the Lord and say, I'm going this morning to the house of the Lord before they make the announcement for the weeks of, the, of my church. I'm going to lift up my hand and say, oh, uh, leader, I'm so sorry, pastor, I'm so sorry. I heard this morning halfway on the radio on my way to church that this woman pressed through this woman had faith this woman had so hope and this woman refused to turn back the same I want to say to somebody that are listening to my voice this morning your life can never be the same if you are tuned in this morning at Radio Easterfield because this woman was adamant she had gegaan met the mandat she had gegaan in her gedagtes that she gaan deerdruk she gaan deerbeer al 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 moet daar die mans wat rondom haar is, haar weg, haar, haar weg, ja, gaan sy probeer om ten minste vir Jesus aan te raak. Maar hier is die, hier is die mooi ding, hier is die siening van God. Ons kan vanmorgen God nie soen, sien, sorry, sien met die, vis, met die visiese oog nie, want die Brees 11 sê, so mooi vers 1, Now faith is the confidence what we hope for. So ons glo vanmorgen in die naam van die Heere, die selwe manier hoe hierdie vrou gegloed, sy het gegloed as sy net aan Jesus kan raak. Zo, ze het gegloe dat zij net aan Jesus kan raak. En vir ogen kan hy uitroep. Jesus is daar teenwoordig. Jesus is in jou midde vir ogen. Hy is daar om jou te sien. Al wat die Heere vir ogen wil hee, jy moet het gloe vir die ding wat jy nie met die blote oog kan sien nie. Maar as jy in jou hart kan gloe, as jy geloof kan het, we live by faith and not by sight. En hier is die ding, wat die Heere my die ander dag so paar weke terug, maak die Heere aan my iets bekend. Uh, hierdie gedeelte is in die Oud Testament, wat die Heere sê, ja maar my kind, my kinders wil eers a teken sien, voordat hulle my hoor. En luister baie mooi, ek gaan nou nie afdwalie, maar ek wil hierdie gedeelte inbring, om ons geloof te boots, te, sorry, te boots. Nou in die, in die, in die, in 1 Konings 18 gaan ons lees dat, daar was vir 3 jaar droogte aangekondig, geen reen nie. Nou moet jy weet nie, as daar geen reen is nie, dan gaan in die water wees nie. En, 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 en God sê vir Elia, gaan sê vir die volk, vir drie jaar gaan daar nie water, gaan daar nie reen wees nie. En, 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 en weet jy, in die drie jaar, gebruik die Heere een reiwen, om vir Elia te sorg. Die, die Heere, Abba Vader, gee stroom by water, om om, om, om sy doors te lees, maar dit is nog nie my punt nie, toe ek daar die gedeelte weer gaan lees, toe maak die Heere vir my hierdie openbaring oop, nou net voor die drie jaar voorbij is, het Elia weer uitgeroep na die Heere, en soos hierdie vrou uitgeroep het na die Heere, maar weet jy wat gebeur, die, 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 die woord van die Heere sê, en Elijah heard a sound of rain, and he sent his servant seven times, for six times the, the, the servant did not see the sign of rain, but when Elijah sent him back the seventh time, the Bible says, he heard, he, sorry, he saw a cloud as big as his hand, and he came back with that report, Master, the only thing that I see is this cloud as big as my hand, and he said revelation, ek moet jy dat die gedeelte vertel het, om die revelation te verstaan, en die Heere sê vir my, ja my, my kinders, jylle, jylle wil eerst een teken sien, vir jylle hoor, maar die rede, hoe kom ek hier die story vertel, die woord van die Heere sê, hier die vrou het gehoor, Jesus is in die stad, sê het hoor, Jesus is in die city, hoeveel maal hoor ons, daar gaan een tendienst wees, hoeveel maal hoor ons, ja, uh, jy wil gelis, akkerman, gaan, 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 uh, kruisheid kom hou, hoeveel maal hoor ons, daar gaan, uh, 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 reeks dienste wees, by hierdie kerk, ons hoor, daar gaan, uh, hier, hierdie manne van die heren, gaan kom preek, maar ons gaan staan ook maar nou daar, so evens op die sy paaikie, en dat, dat ons wil sien, ons wil sien, of hierdie man van die heren is, ja, daar is valse profete, daar is valse uh, uh, mense, wat, wat, wat net kom vergeld, maar baie keer is ons, soos hierdie, hierdie mens op die kantlijn, wat sê, uh, 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 seeing is believing, hearing is no evidence, maar die heren sê vir my, Elmerie, I, I want my children to hear, the same way this woman heard about Jesus Christ, the same way God wants us to hear 
in the spirit. God wants, God wants us to hear so that we can walk by faith and not by sight. Ons moet eerst geloof hee. Ons moet eerst geloof, ons moet hoop het dat die Heere Jesus Christus a deur gaan oopmaak. Misschien is daar iemand wat graag wil studeer. Misschien het jou kind nie plek gekry by die school nie. Maar ek wil vanmorgen in die naam van die Heere wil ek jou hoop gee dat die Heere vir jou a deur sal oopmaak. Dat die Department of Education jou morgen sal bel of die sekretaris van die school sal morgen bel en sê, daar is plek vir die kind, omdat die gegloe het, dat, dat die Heere vir die deur kan oopmak, by daar is, by, by daar die specifieke school, wat die, die kind wil hee, en die beter amen sê, want ek sê amen in die naam van die Heere, en hier leer ons, dat hier die vrou het gehoor, en baie keer het ons gehoor van Jesus, baie keer luister ons na internet, uh, ons, is op die social, ons is op die social media, en daar soveel preke wat gepreek word, daar soveel pastes wat preek, daar soveel uh, uh, videos op TikTok, wat ons naartoe kan gaan, maar vir ogen wil ek vir jou sê, nou dat jy gehoor het, en weer vir ogen hoor, wil ek vir jou sê, wil jy nie saam met my in geloof staan nie, want kyk wat gebeur, die bybel sê, when she heard about Jesus, she came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak because she thought, if I just touch these clothes, I will be healed. En die, en die, en die kracht van die Heere het nie aan sy cloak gele nie. Die kracht van die Heere het aan haar geloof gele. Omdat sy geloof gehad het, sy sê, as ek net aan hom kan aanraak, as ek net my hand kan uitdruk, al, al moet my vingerpunt net aan hom raak. Iemand leef vanmorgen op, op, Iemand leef vanmorgen op een hospitaal bed. Iemand is vanmorgen in die tronk. En jy sê, ja Marie, ek is vanmorgen hier achter slot in Grendel. Ek, 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 ek gaan nie so nie weer sien nie. Dat lyk maar donker vir my. Wil jy nie vir ogen, soos hierdie vrou, net uitreik die hand uitsteek en sê, jyre, uh, uh, ek, ek, ek steek my vinger vanmorgen uit. Iemand leef vanmorgen op een hospitaal bed. Jy het een beroerte gehad. Die een kant van jou lichaam is verlam. Maar wil jy nie die ander hand vat en sê, jyre, ek, 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 ek beer uit met hierdie, hierdie half verlamde hand ek kan hem so evens oplig, daar is die kracht in die hand die, maar daar is kracht in die naam van die Heere, die koor kies in the name of my Lord, there is a victory, en die woord van die Heere sê, we, uh, 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 and if I touch the, these clothes, I will be healed, immediately her bleeding stopped, and she felt in her body, that she was freed from all her suffering, when she touched him, immediately, Nangoku, Namklanje, Betunana, the Bible, the Bible says that immediately the bleeding stopped, her suffering stopped, her financial poverty stopped, her, uh, uh, the fact that she was looked down in a community stopped. Everything that she went through, every pain that she experienced, everything in her womb, in her body that was wrong, returned back to normal perfectly in the name of Jesus. Everything. The Bible says, immediately, Im- onmiddellik, to the kracht uit die Heer uitkom. En as a koorkie sê, da, as a koorkie was, wat sê, daar is kracht, daar is kracht, daar is wonderbare kracht, en die dierbare bloed van die lam. En wat vir iemand vanmorgen, my moeder gaan sê, wil jy nie vanmorgen, soos hierdie vrou, uh, uh, op die uitkijk wees vir, vir, vir een nieuwe getuienis hier, want haar, haar nieuwe getuienis is nou, dat die Heere het my genees, die Heere het my herse, ge, geherstel, die Heere het selfs my dignity herstel, onthou, wat ek vroeger gesê het, volgens die Joodse geloof, mag hierdie vrou glad nie in die publiek gewees het hier, en vir ochend wil ek vir iemand sê, miskien leer jy daar in jou bed, met jou bebloede toestand, miskien spatel jy, spatel, spatel jy in jou eie bloed, maar Jesus Christus is hier vanmorgen om jou aan te raak, as jy net geloof het, soos een master, soos een moster staat, as jy net geloof kan, en sê, ja Marie, ek, ek, ek staan vanmorgen, in agreement met jou, soos jy vanmorgen, mense soek, om te agree, staan ek ook vanmorgen, in agreement, my maas, haar onder in Appington, my paas vanmorgen, in die oostkaap, ek het die boodskap gekry, my paas baie siek, maar vanmorgen, glo ek in die wonderwerkende kracht, van Jesus Christus, want weet jy, as jy verder lees, to Jesus by die, by hierdie synagog leaders huis kom, en die mense so heil, en hy vraag vir hulle, waarvoor heil jylle, wat sy kamousen is dit, to sê hulle by Jesus, hierdie kind is dood, en Jesus sê, sy slaap. Die woord van die Heere sê, in die breers 4 vers 12, ek gaan het lees, ek hou altyd daarvan, om skrif te lees, so dat die luisteraar, so dat ons kan hoor, 
die belofte van die Heere. Hebreers 4 vers 12 sê, For the word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Dit wil sê, wanneer jy in die kaap is, maar jy het nie geld, om hy so te gaan nie, want jy die tyden gekry, jy moeder is siek, jy die tyden gekry, dat die pa is siek, dat lyk, of die pa dat nie gaan maak nie, die woord van die Heere sê, dat, dat die woord van die Heere, as jy die woord van, van, van vir ogen gaan vat, dat Jesus genees, dat Jesus gered, dat Jesus, Jesus het self verlaser is, wat in die graaf was, op gaan wek, na drie dagen Maria en Martha was baie ontsteld, toe hulle Jesus sien, het hulle gesê, heerlijkheid man Jesus, Ons het verwacht dat jy daardig gaan kom. En wat sê Jesus vir hulle? Lazere slaap. Jou situasie vir ochend, gee dit vir die Heere. Wil jy nie vermoorde dit vir die Heere gee nie. Want hierdie vrou het onmiddellik, onmiddellik sê die woord van die Heere, het hierdie vrou tot geneesing gekom. En Jesus vraag die vraag, who touched me? And once Jesus realized that power is gone out from him, En nou, wat het gesê het, die kracht was nie in sy, in sy klook wat hy gedraad die, die kracht was in hom, maar sy moes aan sy klook raak. Sy moet met geloof, sy sê, as ek net aan sy, 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 sy die die hem van sy soom kan raak, as ek net onder aan hom kan raak, as ek net so tisselkie van, van aan hom kan raak, weet ek, dat die Heere dit sal doen. Ek wil net vir u een skrif lees, James 2 vers 18, but someone will say, you have faith, I have deeds, show me your faith without deeds, and I will show you my faith by my deeds. En dit is wat gebeur, ons, daar is soveel getuienisse daar buiten, waar mense vertel, dat hulle, hulle het net op die naam van die Heere geroep, en Jesus sê, somebody touch me, en die, en die, en die, en die, en die, en die, en die disciple sê, but it, it is impossible, for somebody to touch you, you see the people uh, uh, crowding against you, and how is it possible that somebody can touch you, en dit is wat gebeur, wanneer die Heere vir jou anraak, andere mense gaan dalk sê, is onmoendlik, jy, jy, jy het daar nog gister met kratjes geloop, ons het daar nog eer gister gehoor, jy is so siek, jy kan nie jou vinger liggie, maar omdat jy gloe, omdat jy vast gloe, in die woord van die Heere, want die woord van die Heere is levendig, die woord van die Heere draag kracht, en die, en, en die Heere sê, but Jesus kept looking around to see who have done it. Then the woman knowing what has happened to her, sy was bewus dat die kracht van die Heere het haar aangeraak. Sy was bewus dat die kracht van die Heere het haar genees. Sy was bewus, want die woord van die Heere sê, oomblikkelijk toe sy aan hom raak, toe gaan alle siekte, alle bloeding, alle bemoeitheid, Alles wat belast was, alles wat neerhalend was, alles wat neerdrukkend was, alle zonke het haar verlaat. En toe kom sy na vore. En sy sê, dat sy, die woord van die heren sê, she fell at his feet out of honor, and she trembled with fear, and told him the whole story. Maar hier is die nies man, hier is geen jou story, jy moet net kom vermoore, Om, om aan te raak, jy moet net kom vanmorgen, om uit te roep, so hy jou kan red, so hy jou kan genees, so dat hy vir jou een nieuwe ding kan doen, en die, en die Heere sê vaar, daughter, your faith has healed you, go in peace, and be freed from your suffering, en die Heere sê vaar, jou geloof het jou gered, jou geloof, die geloof van die Heere, het haar, ah, sorry, haar geloof, het haar gered, Ek wil vir iemand vanmorgen sê, jou geloof kan jou red. As jy net geloo, waarom glo jy vanmorgen? As hierdie vrou besluit het, sy gaan 12 jaar, sy gaan vaarwel sê van 12 jaar. Da's iemand na buiten, jy sê, jy is 20 jaar bekeer, jy kan nie van die rook af, 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 afstand doen nie. As hierdie vrou besluit het, vir 12 jaar, sy gaan van 12 jaar, sy pijn en leiding en sy bloeding, gaan sy afscheid van neem, sy gaan iets aan doen, omdat Jesus in die stad gekom het, omdat sy gehoor het van Jesus, wil ek iemand, vir, vir iemand vanmorgen sê, de, uh, Jesus kan het vir jou doen, misschien, misschien sê jy vir ogen, ja Amri, my man drink al vir 20 jaar, my kind is al vir soveel jaar verslaaf aan draks, maar ek wil vir jy sê, moeder, 
of vader, wil jy nie vanmorgen, soos hierdie vrou, net die handen oplees, sê, jyre, as jy dit vir, die, vir hierdie vrou kan doen, gedoen het, wat vir 12 jaar aan bloedvloeien geleid het, wat alle geld gespandeerd het, en, 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 die woord sê, it became worse, miskien sit jy vanmorgen op moedverloorste vlakte, waar het lyk, maar die kind het nog die laatste geld geste aangesteel, die kind het beloof verlede week, toe jy omvat na die, na, na, na die rehab center toe, het hy beloof dat hy, 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 hy gaan saam met jou gaan, hy gaan O, om gaan verander, hy gaan om inboek, net om te hoor, hy het weg gehaard loop, en hy kom steel jou laaste geld, maar hier is hoop, my sister, van die koorkie sê, in the name of my Lord, there is a victory, en ek wil vir jou vanmorgen sê, my sister, ek gaan saam met jou bid, dan gaan ons uit, dan gaan ons uitspeel, weer met die lied, ek wil vanmorgen, saam met jou in geloof staan, want die woord van die Heere sê, as twee en drie in sy naam vergader, as sy daad die woordig, maar die woord van die Heere sê ook, as twee saam stem oor die saak, ek stem vanmorgen saam met jou, ek sien jou nie, ek, ek sien jou nie vanmorgen met die blote oog nie, maar al wat ek vir jou kan sê, ek kan vanmorgen saam met jou staan in geloof, en vir jou sê, my sister en my broer, jimmelse vader, die woord van die Heere het vir oogend gekom, dat hierdie sin ek ook liede, het so vertrouwen gehad in jy, dat jy sy dochterkie sal genees, want sy was op die punt van dood toe, maar toe jy daar kom by sy huis, toe was die dok, hierdie dochterkie dood, en al wat jy vir die skare gesê het, dat hierdie dochterkie slaap en jy daar genees, Hier is ook een verhaal in die selle hoofstuk van een vrou, wat vir 12 jaar aan bloedvloeien geleid het, en hemelse vader, daar soveel mense daar buiten, wat in pijn en leiding is, die in suffering lood, en die in pijn, some of them are bleeding, not physical blood, but some of them are bleeding out of their sinful nature, some of them are bleeding because Father God, what they going through, and I'm standing in agreement this morning, because the Bible said, if two agree over a thing, you are there in the present, and you will answer us, you said in your word, when you spoke to your disciples, you said you, you said to your disciples, you have to go away, because they did not ask you anything in your name, I'm coming this morning as, as your disciple, Lord, everybody that are in agreement with me this morning, everybody that has faith this morning, God, that you will deliver them, that you will give them a testimony, the same testimony, Lord, that you gave this woman and this man, I pray in the name of Jesus, that you will give them a testimony, God, of your healing power, of your greatness and your goodness and your mercy, because you came, you said you came to do the will of your Father, and you are interceding for us, God, oh God, you are the, you are the advocate, and we ask you in the name of Jesus, let your will be done, in the mighty name of Jesus, amen and amen, luisteraars, dat is die woord van die Heere, Jesus genees, Jesus red, Ek is volgende week weer terug in die naam van die Heere, om die woord van die Heere te bedien aan jy. Ek kyk uit om jy te sien. Jy kan ook daar op die Facebook page, kan jy een like maak vir, vir die radiostatie. Jy kan comment daar. As jy enig, en, as jy enige gebedsversoeke het, wat ek altyd doen, ek gaan altyd achterna om te gaan luister en om te kyk wie vraag vir een gebedsversoek, dan tree ons in vir jy. Jy moet een geseende week het. Ons gaan uitspeel met die lied, In the name of my Lord. There is a victory. Amen. You are listening to Radio Easterwe. Hallo jylle, welke die vanavond episode. Ons gaan die episode opvang met een lekker koekie wat sê In the name of my Lord, there is a victory. Ons atelier vast as die sonde. In the name of my Lord, sing saam de
Outstation, outtalent, outpeople. Tidang ragi.